the indian t20 league is in all its color with two new teams adding to the excitement let's go and talk to arun about how the league is progressing here at time out with sports adda hello arun the two biggest teams in terms of popularity in terms of uh, probability no. of winning <laughs> i shouldn't talk about that right <laughs> no no but but you're right akil like uh, you know i saw a tweet yesterday you know i saw a couple of tweets yesterday uh talking about how the new new teams have been impressive uh, as we speak gujarat titans are top of the table akil uh, uh very unexpected i should say i thought they'll take time to to find their feet in the competition but but hey this is what this league's about it's it's the best t20 league in the world for this kind of reason you know yeah absolutely and hats off to hats off to the management also for going with some kind of a some kind of a coaching staff which is which is very unique you know we've not really seen ashish nehra as a head coach in too many places he was with the bangalore team previously as a bowling coach and so was vikram solanki there as a director gary kirsten was there itself so uh, and they couldn't deliver the results in a, such a big team like bangalore but here they've seemed to have come well prepped for the auction got everything right uh, have have managed to motivate hardik pandya to come up with a performance which is worthy of a of a leader you know, you you've brought out so many points that we can talk about for an entire day in just that one one little bit but but here's here's a few things okay let's let's start off with with ashish nehra uh, yeah. we you know we in the i was in the commentary box yesterday and you know we will we were talking about the gujarat titans and when we are talking about the coaching staff the first name that really comes to mind is gary kirsten because yeah. he's this you know he's this popular successful coach around the world but here in the gujarat titans setup gary kirsten's actually the assistant coach of sorts yeah ashish nehra's designation is head coach so so it, it's very unusual if i can use that word but a lot of credit to to ashish nehra you know a lot of people around the team says he brings a lot of energy and and that's working at the moment Mm, outstanding they found they found like so much good momentum um, looks like they'll qualify pretty early and just sit pretty um, but anyways before we talk and there's lots to discuss especially with the with the way that mumbai is struggling but before we get there arun like we do every every session we have a question contest uh, question coming up uh, people who listen into us usually have a chance to win sports adda merchandise and that's what we are offering today also all they have to do is go on to our youtube channel subscribe to the channel and leave their answers in the comment section uh, on the youtube channel and you have a chance to win sports and the merchandise usually our questions are quite simple so that's how we are going to be sticking to that's that's what we are going to be doing today also arun and uh, you can you can join in and give the hint at the end of it um, so the question for today is rohit sharma just completed 10000 runs in t20 cricket uh, He is the second Indian to complete those ten thousand runs. We would like to know who is the first Indian. So that is a that is a simple question. Who who is the first Indian to complete ten thousand runs in T Twenty cricket? Just leave in your answers, and you get a chance to win sports at the Budi Darun. Any hints for for everybody who listens in? Your question was eighteen seconds long. Okay, there is the hint. <laughs> <laughs> okay lovely that's that's a big hint that arun has given okay so arun chennai have found a way to win a match finally they won one uh, they found some new heroes in shivam dubey and robin uthappa an old hero who is again rediscovered his form and carrying forward so that's a good sign for them that apart from if, if not ruturaj gaikwad and half duplicy who who they have not managed to replace in such a great way they found shivam dubey who is now a uh, hitting sixes at will uh, getting scores uh, consistently in each match and showing he's a he's a person that the chennai team can rely on so that's at least some relief for the chennai team here's a couple of things akil uh, first is an admission that i did not rate shivam dubey uh, go back go back a year ago go back two years ago uh, i thought this this lad was was too much hype little substance 
बट हे नाउ हीज इन द चेन्नई ड्रेसिंग रूम एंड चेन्नई ड्रेसिंग रूम कैन वॉन्डर्स I'm giving I'm giving the lad credit as well. Uh, Shivam Dubey has obviously done a lot of things correctly. He's worked on his game. Yeah. He's spoken to people, so credit to the guy. But again, credit to the Chennai dressing room. You know, we've seen so many instances of that dressing room making cricketers happy. Yeah. I can just immediately recall Moin Ali mm. being another name, right? Yeah. Yes. You know, England can't get the best out of Moin Ali, but Chennai can. You can recall Robin Utapa again. Robin Utapa, we thought was a spent force, yeah, right? Yeah. Again, carry your carry your, you know, back on track. So, so I can recall so many such decisions, so many such instances. So credit to Shivam Dubey first. Uh, he's taken me by, by surprise, but uh, credit to Chennai as well. And, and good to see them back on, on, you know, in the points. That win was 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 yeah was much needed. Fantastic, but some some bad news coming through. Say a poor Deepak Chahar going to be out for a little longer than than everybody had thought. So that's a big big blow. Uh, very unfortunate for for him. He was he was doing so well. He was already uh, like proving to be a format player in T20 cricket and 50 over cricket. So a uh, big blow for the Chennai team to. We put in so much money behind one player. The bigger worry for me, Akhil, is is two things. A, he was Deepak Chah was injured, and he was getting treatment. Now to suffer a second injury when you're recuperating and recovering, that's a big yeah. worry for me. You know, a either you know people who doing the job there need to understand players' bodies better, need to understand workloads better, need to put in place processes so this doesn't happen. And the worry for the bigger worry for me, Akhil, is is Deepak Chahar will never be the same bowler again. When you mm. when you suffer a series of injuries, Akhil, you will. I mean, it the chances of you returning to the form you were prior to the injury very very minuscule. So, so that's the bigger worry for me. Will Deepak Chahar come back the same bowler he was six months ago? Mm. At the Hopefully moment, my will. my worry is he may not. Just hopefully, and like praying that he comes back and be uh, like continues to be the force that he was a uh, deadly bowler to start off with those four overs, three overs early on. But it's critical now. You, you spoke about Rohit that uh, it, it's been five games now, Arun, and it's almost you're, you're reaching the halfway mark there. Uh, if they lose one more, then then practically on paper it's very difficult for them to to, to start have have that chance to qualify. So I mean Rohit Sharma firing for them, Ishan Kishan firing for them, and winning games on their own has become absolutely important now. Absolutely, and they're missing players, Akhil. They're missing, they're missing that that the the middle order runs. You know, Surya is getting runs, but you know this is the chat that I've been having with several of my friends. You know, is Kyren Pollard really that valuable valuable to to Mumbai now? I mean, we've we've seen a young to come in and, and and score runs, but is Kyren Pollard doing enough to justify his presence in that Mumbai lineup? The question, if somewhere someone were to ask me, the answer is no. Uh, Pollard's not getting runs. Pollard's not getting you wickets. He's not bowling enough. Yeah. I rate Pollard in the West Indies setup. I rate Pollard. I know people in the Caribbean rate him, but in this Mumbai setup currently, when there's so much talent available. For for people to pick, you know, I don't think Pollard's pulling his weight in the team. Hmm, it's it's uh, right. I mean, he's he's anyways coming in so late that he's not getting enough overs to maybe just get his momentum and start hitting. But it's sad to see like not maybe him not you to be utilized to his full potential. Like we know that there are so many six hitters right now in the league and Pollard not featuring upon them. It's just sad to see. I mean, Tilak Verma and Revis are. Like hitting more sixes than than Pollard is right now, so it's it's a huge change uh, for Mumbai Indians also to not see their so it's it's a loyalty for them also. It's a long time, long term player for them not delivering must be a very some factor. I, 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 and it begs the question now that you you had to make that decision before the auction or during the auction. Mm. Um, I I know the sentiment in word. With, As there is with with many other things, but that question they might just rule. That decision they might just rule. Okay. 
Mm. Also, the bowling is looking completely clueless except for Bumrah. Uh, teams also know that they can just play out those four overs, and the rest of the bowling options are not not having the best time here. I mean, including somebody as experienced as Jaydev Unadkar, uh, and Murugan Ashwin has been around in the in the T20 league for a while, but they are not giving that cutting edge, you know, where Rohit Sharma always can get overs from Trent Bolt, or at least a couple of overs in the death, or uh, there was Rahul Chahar who was doing the job in the middle over. Hardik or Krunal Pandya both knew that they they just bowl on the stumps and just try and restrict. So there was so much control that the Mumbai Indian skipper had previously. Uh, just missing that and sad to see also as a as a cricket fan. It it is sad, but but listen, this is this is cricket. This is T20 cricket. Things can change. Mm. Uh, it, it's a question of you know Rohit getting one of those special innings, Ishan Kishan getting one of those special innings out, and and they could well be on their way. But as things stand, uh, worries for Mumbai o- on more than just one front. Okay, one more topic I wanted to talk to you and like there was a lot of buzz on social media and uh, there's there's so much chatter happening obviously with Rajasthan uh, being involved there and Ravi Chandran Ashwin there. So we know that there will be a lot of chatter on social media, but. Uh, this the concept of retiring now is is going to be used uh, frequently is what we hear from the Rajasthan camp. Uh, Ashwin was the first first to try that. Uh, uh, what do you make of that experiment? Darun? We saw and heard from Ashwin himself who said that I don't know why it's not tried before. And there's so much to try in T20 cricket. So interesting interesting choice there. He batted at number three in the match uh, as versus Gujarat. So again, they are trying something new with Ashwin, the batter, and this retiring thing. This this retiring shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a surprise at all. Now I'm I'm surprised that it's taken this long for somebody to actually do it. Look, there's there's something called laws of cricket, right? And it's been yeah. that's something that governs the game. If it's provided in the laws of cricket that you can retire when you want, why worry? I mean, if, if I mean, it, it's legal, right? It's one hundred percent legal. So why would even coaches, why would you know, team management, why would captains even think about doing something wrong? There, there are two sides to this argument. One, you know, it, it, it's disrespectful to the player. You don't value the player so much. Uh, it, it, it demoralizes the player if you were to ask somebody to retire him out. But hey, this is a team sport. This is T Twenty cricket. In T20 cricket, every single ball is an event. Every ball can be valuable. I mean, we saw in this case of Ashwin itself. Ashwin retired. Riyan Parag came in. Riyan Parag perhaps picked up a couple of boundaries, and eventually that was a difference, wasn't it? So, yeah. so, 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 yeah. I mean, I I don't know why coaches are hesitant on using this retired option, which is available to them. Uh, here's another question. We're talking about retired in the context of batsman, Akhil. Yeah. Should you should you re, should you be permitted to retire a bowler midway through an over? If somebody's gone for three sixes, like the leg spinner went for the other day, Brivis yeah. leg spinner for, for four sixes, I think. But if, yeah. if a captain sees that you know, a spinner's gone for two sixes, should he be allowed to take the bowler off? That's an interesting one. Anyways, we've seen that if there's an injury. Then the other bowlers can complete the over, and if if bowlers, if the team has say more than five bowlers, like they have a bowling option at hand, then why not? I mean, uh, but, but there has to be some way to to be able to stop this, right? Arun, like for bowling wise, especially because uh, because then if the batter is gain, gaining momentum, then just allow, allowing a change of bowlers is while it's legal. But but it's also something which which doesn't help the game, right? I mean that's that's something. Uh, it's a tactical move, and moment some team is going to try that surely, uh, because they they are going to catch up on this and they are going to definitely try saying that this bowler is having a bad time or he's bowling wides or he's not getting the length right. You change him in two three balls and then see what happens if they have an extra bowler, yeah. Ravi Chandran Ashwin might be the first again, Akhil. You know, somebody in this team gets away with goes for three boundaries yeah. in the first three balls. Ashwin might just yeah. say, "Be the old dude." So, so yeah, uh, that that's something we should we should keep an eye on. 
But but here's another still. thing, Akhil. You know, laws all all the conditions are stacked against the bowlers, and I'm not talking conditions meaning pitch, outfield, uh, you know, ball, uh, yeah. the, the regulations governing. There was an interesting tweet from Ahmad Raza, the the UAE captain, yesterday. Uh, he said, "You cannot set a field for a wide yorker." Okay, now that's that's an international captain actually saying even a yorker is not safe. You know, so it tells you how loaded the game is against the bowlers, and which is why I think you know you might just see a situation where you know a bowler is taken off midway through the over and somebody else completes it. So so yeah. Somebody like a Stuart Broad would love that, right? Like he would be just thinking, "Why didn't it happen?" Then I die. <laughs> Six sixes. Somebody save me. He could have. He could have been saved of that that <laughs> record that he didn't want to be part of. <laughs> okay, so lots and lots of things happening here in the Indian D20 league around, and we'd love to hear opinions of people who listen to us. Uh, tell us your thoughts about this retire retiring uh, issue, and we'd love to hear your thoughts on 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 how Mumbai has 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 struggled this time and what are the reasons for that. So write in to us. We'd love to see your comments and uh, have those discussions in, in the next session that we do. Yeah, Arun, you had you had seen something. I I I'd also want to know from viewers and listeners if they can if they can share with us. Who is the one or two players that they've been really disappointed about the season? Like which which mm. which player of who you had big expectations has let you down massively? So if you can share with us, we'll talk about this player and why possibly this player is not performing to expectations in our next next show. All right, fantastic! Thanks so much for joining in. We'll be back again here at Time Out with Sports Adda. Uh, so much of cricket happening and we love discussing that here thank you so much